Hi, I'm Rila Lisa here from Four City Stitching. Hope everyone had a good week. It is much cooler here today than it was last week, so that's nice. Um, and you might remember near the end of the video, we heard my neighbor mowing the lawn, and actually it was our lawn she was mowing, it turns out. Our lawnmower has been in the shop for about six weeks. Um, my husband has borrowed her lawnmower once, um, but it wasn't fully charged, so he only got a portion of the front lawn done. We don't have a large front lawn. So our load just came in. Um, and yeah, so she just <laughs> took it upon herself to help us out and mow it um, last Sunday. Um, the backyard's another story, but um, yeah, that will be dealt with when our lawnmower is up and running. Um, our other neighbor is trying to sell their house, so I'm sure that's looking like hobos isn't something that they really want. So, um, but yeah, that was kind of a funny coincidence uh, that we figured that out. Uh, nothing too exciting here, I don't think. I had a 5k race on Friday night at the airport. Um, so that was fun to run on the runway. Um, my parents came to visit today. We went out for lunch. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, now, I did mention in my last video, I would talk more about a giveaway for reaching 500 subscribers. Uh, so let's talk about that. So I'm at 531 subscribers when I last checked. So that's great. Thank you again to everyone. Um, welcome to everyone that is new. He's trying to figure out if Arlo is trying to get out again. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, he's going to go. That cat does not like a closed door. Okay, so for my 500 subscriber giveaway, um, in this envelope, I'm not going to show it, just wanted to show this part. And just because there is a, I know there's a code and stuff on it, uh, but there is a gift card in here for $50 to Stitch It Central here in London, Ontario, Canada. Um, Maria was kind enough a few weeks ago when I was in um, and said, remind me next time you're in, um, I'd like to give you a gift certificate to give away. And it so, so happened to fall around the same time that I hit the 500 subscriber mark. So it worked out perfectly. So the gift certificate I have in my hand is for in-store use only. Um, I have, so I wanted to clarify with her about an online option. If the winner um, was out of town or out of the country, etc., cetera. Um, and they can make an online gift certificate if the winner happens to be not in London, Ontario, and not going to be using it in store. So to enter the giveaway, um, please in the comment below mention 500, so 500, um, and then please mention local, say either local, L-O-C-A-L, or online, O-N-L-I-N-E. Um, in your comment below. That way, once a winner is drawn, I can, you know, have in my mind, you know, if I'm going to be looking to arrange a time for us to meet, so I can provide the winner with the, the gift certificate, or if I am going to be getting some more details from the winner and um, to get that all sorted out with them. Um, Stitch It Central to convert it to an online gift certificate instead. Um, yeah, so regular kind of giveaway rules apply. Don't say giveaway or win 
or anything that might attract the trolls. Don't, um, or do do be a subscriber, um, uh, like this video, um, etc. Um, and then yeah, if you could be 18, um, years, I think that's kind of the standard practice for, for giveaways. Um, but yeah, no, thank you very much, Maria. I think that you do sometimes watch my channel. Um, and this was very generous of you to, to provide this. Um, so yeah, so the, that's what I was trying to figure out last week on how the logistics of all that was going to work. Okay, um, so I got a little bit of happy mail. I won these cute kitty floss drops. They're all cats with sweaters. Um, from the Artsy Housewife. Um, so definitely check out their YouTube videos when they put them up. They probably do it maybe like once a month or so. Um, Gigi does it with her husband Boone. Um, yeah, and it's, it's great to watch their videos and obviously her patterns are wonderful. Um, and then something that I purchased, I purchased it last week, but I didn't pick it up off the printer. Um, this pattern by these 20 stitches. So Duckworth Street Sampler. So this is to celebrate, um, the opening of Brin and Needles online and sorry, Brick, Brick brick and mortar shop. <laughs> there I had an online shop, but they're brick and mortar shop. Um, so you can get it from Brin and Needle. Um, you can get, I believe, I obviously got the PDF, um, but you can, I think they have paper versions as well that you can get in shop if you are so lucky um, to live in Newfoundland. So those are my happy meal. Yes, that's it. All right, let's get into my stitching. Okay. So I'm working my way through getting caught up on my baby Singo. I'm almost at a uh, bingo for it. Once I hit the bingo, I'm probably going to abandon maybe sing go and do some other things. Um, but it's a good way to pick what projects I'm gonna be working on. Uh, I worked on Under the Mistletoe by Stitch With Coffee. This is how this one's looking. There is a lot of color changes, a lot of different colors there. Um, yeah, a lot of detail. This is just on some 14 count white opalescent. Can't really see the opalescent. Just a uh, fabric I got from Michaels. Like, those are all the DMCs, so a lot of different colors. And then I worked on Under the Sea again. I'm not, by Frosted Pumpkin, I'm not going to show you the whole pattern again because you just saw it last week. Um, but I needed to work on something with a rock. So I worked on getting some more of the coral in by that rock. So that's how that one's looking. So those are two. Easy stitching days on 14 count. Um, and then I switched from 14 count to one over one on 28 count um, Irish linen. So this, I didn't bring the cover photo, but this is the center part. This is the center part. That doesn't really help at all, but um, maybe just to catch me. The center part of Zimmerman's Covilet. Um, so it was charted by Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery. Um, and it was from Ellen Reed's, I believe it was her grandmother's, um, 
Coviolet that she had. And this was before Ellen was designing herself. So the pattern goes out. There's some pieces on either side and you are supposed to do it like th repeat three. I'm just doing the center part, which you can see is large enough. One over one on this linen, 28 count linen. I think I stitched on since I started it two years ago. So Christmas, a Christmas Carol in Rosé. That's what it looks like by Historic, um, Historic uh, Stick Mooster. So this is, she typically puts out a free pattern, I believe every year. Um, last year's was like kind of red and pink circles. Um, because you don't know what a circle looks like. Um, but yeah, this was two years ago and I, yeah, hadn't stitched on it since I put the initial 200 stitches in and then when I pulled it out, I had kitted it up in all this Roxy floss. Um, now I did have a lighter color but it wasn't showing on my fabric. So I subbed in sharp red instead. This is one over one as well. 128 count. Um, yeah, I think that horse looks okay up there in that color. So that's how that one's looking. Um, so yeah, I have to say I was a little surprised when I opened this up and I found all this Roxy in here. Um, I should take a look at my notion to see if, if I did a good job putting it into my notions app, I would have opened that up and put that in last year so we'll see if i have that all tagged correctly and then i worked a bit on my june ornament and this is from linen and threads in 2020 so this was part of the free stitch long and um my hair is terrible today. Oh my God. Um, so this was part of the free stitch along in addition to the monthly parts. You also got an ornament. So this was the June ornament. Got a good amount of stitches in there. You can see I don't have too much more to go. And the floss I'm using is DMC 4514. So the variegated. And this, that's on 22 count. Friday, I didn't stitch. Um, I was too tired from my race. And then yesterday, um, I don't think I have a cover photo for this. This was the Cookie Exchange Sal. The hands-on design did a couple of years ago. And I mainly worked on the legs of the table there. Still trying to decide, but I think I might repeat this over on this side too. I have lots of room. This is on 18 count. Um... I want to say it's mint, but I don't think that's what it is called. But it is like a mint green. Color is Pitchless Plus. 
but it's it has it shrunk a lot and is dying it's very small very small holes for sure I have quite the assortment of things to keep my projects in in this round. This used to be something I used to carry diapers in in my purse. <laughs> Don't worry, I washed it. And they were clean diapers anyway. And you'll probably see this again next week once I finish what I want to finish on it. The, this 20, 2007 Santa, the knitting Santa, how he's looking here. I just want to get his boots in and then, then I put in 400 stitches on him since you last saw him. And that's just for a prompt. And then I just basically have his head to do, right? There's some mittens to go up here. Another ball of yarn over here, but then he's done. So he is on my lip go for a finish and he has been called, so. Might be able to get him done. All right. So that is all I had for today. Um, so yeah, again, if you are interested in winning the $50 gift certificate from Stitch It Central in London, Ontario, Canada. Mentioned 500 in the comments, so 500. And then put either local, L-O-C-A-L, -L, or online, O-N-L-I-N-E, in your comments. Um, and then I will draw a, runner, a winner before my next video, which will be on Sunday. So I'll do the draw on Sunday before I film uh the 29th of september um again um if you're a local we'll arrange um to meet up if you're the winner if you're online i'll figure it out on how to convert this gift certificate into an online one um and then get that information to you whatever way makes the most sense so that is all folks um thank everyone again um who has subscribed and has um, been watching my videos or are new to my videos. Um, welcome anyone new and uh, I'll talk to you next week.